Ukraine says it was not informed about need to ensure safety of airspace before plane crash in Belgorod Oblast. Here's a summary of the article. Ukraine's military intelligence, or her as it is known in Ukraine, said the Russian side did not inform it about the need to ensure the safety of the airspace before a plane crashed over Belgorod that the Russian Defense Ministry claims had Ukrainian prisoners of war on board. A Russian IL-72 transport plane crashed in Belgorod Oblast earlier on January 24, which Russian authorities later confirmed. Russia's defense ministry then claimed that 65 Ukrainian POWs were on the plane when it crashed. Ukraine fulfilled its part of the prisoner swap, the safety of the Russian POWs was ensured, and they were taken to the agreed-upon exchange point, Her added. The Russian side did not notify Ukraine about the necessity to ensure the safety of the airspace around Belgorod, Her said, which has been done, repeatedly, in the past. Later on January 24, Russian propagandist Margarita Simonyan shared a list of the alleged POWs on the plane. A Russian IL-76 transport aircraft crashed in Russia's Belgorod Oblast on January 24 at around 11 a.m. local time, the Russian state news agency RIA Novosti reported, citing the country's defense ministry. This post received a score of 6,100, with an up-vote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Not a chance Russia was flying POWs so that one of their planes would get shot down for PR. They're embarrassed this happened over Russian soil so they're trying to deflect blame. Also thought it sounds strange that they were flying prisoners for an exchange out of Belgorod. Aren't they basically as close as they can get then to Ukraine? Why fly them anywhere else, and indeed, in a rather expensive fashion, inside one of their likely much-needed heavy transports? Flying them out of Belgorod and shipping them to the NE. Yeah, that's not for an exchange. Either it was shipping Ukrainian prisoners deeper into Russia, which they would probably just use trains for, or it wasn't Ukrainian prisoners. It seems more likely the plane was transporting munitions or the rumored Iranian drone experts. Allegedly the plane was spotted on Flytrader returning to Russia from Iran. Wrong aircraft. They were linking to RA 78830, which was likely flying to Syria. It overflew Iran. But it was near Cyprus at 0700 UTC. So it was physically not possible for this aircraft to have been anywhere near Belgorod at the time of the shootdown. Edit. Probably it was RF 86828 that was shot down, best guess. Ukraine has been targeting aircraft in what is basically contested airspace since the start of this war. If Russia didn't tell anyone that one of the planes that has been flying equipment to the war zone today instead had a bunch of POWs, then how would Ukraine know not to shoot it down when they've already been targeting Russian transports in the area? Basically, if it did have Ukrainian POWs on board, Russia did it on purpose to accuse Ukraine of killing them. The blood is still on Russia's hands, especially as there'd be no POWs if Russia hadn't started this fucking war in the first place. Otherwise there were no POWs on board and Russia is just making it all up anyway. I am not convinced there even were POWs on that plane. Russia can just say anything at this point. I agree especially since like 18 of the names on the list of POWs were already returned to Ukraine. A country that gets caught putting explosives in one of its tower blocks is capable of all sorts of skullduggery to influence opinions. Reports coming in a PS3 Sims 3 disc was found in the aircraft wreckage. What Ukraine is saying with this statement ensures that even if what Russia says is true, it is a war crime by Russia, because it violates Article 46 of the Geneva Conventions regarding treatment of the transport of POWs. Opening square bracket. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.